What's up, everybody? This is like the Tech Preacher. So let me show you something that's really dope. Check this out. You got your LG Wing, right? And you want to bring it to the next level. Are you thinking about getting the LG Wing? And look at that edge lighting, right? That is dope. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks on how to take your LG Wing to the next level. And let's check this out one more time. And look at this, right? Boom. You see the edge lighting. Now you could do this on a lot of different devices, but if you got an LG Wing, why not bring it to the next level? Let me show you some things which you, that you could do on the LG Wing in this video. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. Yeah. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So check this out, right? Look, you know in the Android ecosystem, you could do so much. And right here, I'm getting notifications. And as I'm doing notifications, my whole screen is lighting up. And yes, you could do this with two different colors that I found, right? So let's go to open it up. And uh, let me show you guys some tips and tricks. And look, I like this here. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get this 3D effect, well, 4D effect, right? Let me go down and, and log in and boom, there it is, right. All right, so the first thing you gotta do is open, it, uh, open up the device, that's the first thing, right? Uh, you wanna go to your settings, all right? Uh, to get this edge lighting, uh, go to your settings, go to your notification, uh, and you wanna go to brief notification, Right, and when you go to brief notification side light, that's what it's called on the, the Galaxy device, it's called edge lighting. On uh, LG device, it's called side lighting. Uh, when you get the device out of the box, it's toggled off. So you want to toggle it on, and once you toggle it on, uh, you go and all the apps right here. Um, you could toggle whichever one you want to be on for every time you get a notification, it will have the side light. So that's how you do that. That's really easy uh, side light. But if you have the regular uh, the LG stock uh, messenger app, uh, you can only get that blue color. Now, if you want to get that nice, beautiful gold color, let me show you real quick. All right. And let's go. Okay, so the blue color is uh, the third party uh, messenger app that I downloaded, which is the Google uh, messenger app, but the stock app will give you that gold color. So let's go on and, and do that by default and let's turn it off and let's go on and do this again, right? And I want y'all guys to see this gold effect, right? Let me make sure, there it goes. All right, so here it is, as you can see, the gold trim, all right, the gold trimming, which is dope. I really like the gold trim, or you could go with the, the other trim, so there it goes. That was the second text message I sent myself. So as you can see, that's pretty dope, huh? You got your gold trim, and then you can change your mess messenger app, and you could get the blue trim. Now, it don't matter who texts you, it don't matter what notification it is, it's gonna have the same color. So whether or not you like the blue trim, or you like the gold trim, uh, it's, it's pretty dope. So let me text myself again, and I uh, want y'all guys to see uh, that it is a nice gold uh, trim, which is nice. I like that. That's beautiful. Again, let's go back in it. And I want to change it again. All right. Pick up the device. All right. So let's go back in and I am going to change it, use the default and go here and use it as default and get, get out of here. All right. So now I have the other messenger as my default. And so let's turn it off and let me text myself again. And any notification that you got toggled on, you will get that the same effect. All right, so it's more of a bluish color. I like it. I like the bluish color. I'm going to stay with the uh, Google uh, Messenger app because I do like this bluish uh, color here. It's pretty dope. Uh, that's one tip I want to show you guys. All right, so as you can see, uh, the next tip I want to show you guys is the 4D wallpaper. Now I've been using 4D wallpapers for a couple of months now, and it, it does not take a hit on battery life, but it's really dope. Especially when you open the device up, right? When you open up the device, it looks really dope. Now I have it set to the top and I have a different wallpaper here at the bottom, which you can change the wallpaper just by uh, 
you know, uh, long pressing it and then go to your wallpapers and themes and then change your wallpaper for the bottom. But for the top, you want to go to, ah, oh, this is dope. Uh, you want to go to 4D wallpaper. All right, in 4D wallpaper, you just download it from the app store and it's called 4D Parallax Wallpaper. I will leave that down in the description. Uh, I've done a video exclusively about Parallax. I will leave, I think I'll leave that video down in the description too. But download 4D wallpaper and uh, I got Thanos as my wallpaper, but you can have any wallpaper you want that's available here, which is really dope. All you gotta do is click on it and then bam, that's gonna be your wallpaper right there. So let's go on and change the wallpaper to something else. Yeah, let's go to, doo -doo -doo. I like my man John Wick. So I'm gonna do John Wick, save the wallpaper, apply, and it's done. There it is, John Wick. So I got John Wick as my wallpaper, as you can see, it is pretty dope, right? So that is nice, having John Wick on there. And I'm gonna change it back to my Thanos, cause I like it, boom, Thanos, let's do this. And the third trip tip that I wanna show you guys is that every time I open up uh, the wing part, you hear that you got a nice little uh, animation uh, sound that's going on. Uh, that is pretty dope, okay. In order to get that, that's really simple. Uh, let's go to sound and your settings. Uh, and then you want to go to sound itself, system sound, and right here, swivel up and down. Right now I got it on laser. You press on that and you have a few things where you can change the the the, uh, the sound when you swivel uh, the screen up. So you go to click, prism, diamond, music box, guitar, piano blues, and laser all right so basically if you want to change the sound you can change it just like that and go to pretend, uh, piano blues there it is all right get top all right um the last trick before i leave out here is that uh you can actually change uh your fingerprint uh, animation. All right, so let's go to lock screen and security. Uh, you want to go to uh, fingerprint. Okay, let me put my code in. Okay, uh, and icon effects. All right, right at the bottom of fingerprint, you have what's called icon effect. When you go on there, you got three little effects that you can do right here. So you can go to ED effect in it. It looks nice, all right? At default, you got that one, but I change it to this one. So now, when I turn off the device, here you got a nice little animation. Boom, looks good. All right, so that's four tricks and tips uh, that you can make the best out of your LG wing. That's what I'm talking about. That is dope. All right, this is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. I like to make these tips and trick videos to make the best out of the devices that you have. If you got the LG Wing, are you thinking about picking up the LG Wing? So far, it's been a fantastic device. I've been making a plethora of videos about this device, and I will continue to make a lot of videos, good and bad videos, uh, that I'm finding out uh, reviewing the LG Wing. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the LG Wing in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace. Like that, let's do that again. <laughs> Boom. Dope. Yes. That is dope. Later.